it is difficult for Chinese people to say no unless they don't have choice. Chinese people find it difficult to say no to reject people because for them it's impolite to say no to someone directly just like that. However, they will look for some excuses or they will even lie to you because they don't want to say no. They also don't like to say no to reject people because they think that if they say no directly to you, you will feel bad about it and they don't want you to feel bad about it. It can happen in many situations, such as, for example, when you go sometimes uh, for shopping or you go to the supermarket or you go to the park, wherever you go, there are some parents out there when they see you because you are a foreigner, they will want you to teach English to the kids at home. Like it's more like home tutoring classes, things like that. And they will approach you, they will ask you, can you teach English to my to my kid or something like that? And you will agree, you will say, okay, yes, you can do that. And then they will ask you, how much do you usually charge for one class? And this question can be very tricky because if you see a price that for them is overpriced, they will just say something like, oh, okay, um, when they will need you, they will call you or they will contact you. And usually when they say something like this, it means that they don't want to contact you because they think that is expensive. Now, for you to make sure that you can get this opportunity, you can just ask the parents back how much did they prepare for the class, for one class. And they will be like, no, you can see your price and they will think about it. You And you still refuse, you still insist that they tell you first how much they want to spend for one class. This way, they will probably tell you finally that, okay, they, they, they have this budget for the class and everything. And according to that, you can also see if you can still bargain with the parent. But usually when they say that they have this budget, it means that they can't go like, they can't increase the money again so you just take it like that and like that you're sure that you can have the the class because otherwise if you say a price that maybe it's too much for them they won't contact you back another thing you also need to know is when you chat with them for example you you you, you make a conversation with them on WeChat or whatever, and uh, you realize that the conversation is good, like they reply you immediately, and all of a sudden, they stop replying you. And you'll be like, what is happening? What is going on? It means maybe you ask them something, and they don't have it, or they don't want to give you what you're asking them, and they don't want to say no. So they will just stop replying you, and it means no so you need to understand that don't force or something like that don't insist just understand that it means no so if it happens to you you can just change the topic or maybe the next time you talk to them you just pretend that nothing ever happened sometimes when you ask them something and they don't want to give you or they don't have it they will suggest you to ask someone else or they will give you some other alternatives this is also another way of saying no for them so if this also happens to you you also need to understand that it means no and just move on and just forget about it there you have it for today's video i hope this video was helpful the purpose of today's video was to help you to understand more about how chinese people deal with um rejecting people they never say no if they want to reject people and if you uh, encounter these kind of situations that I just mentioned or maybe some other situations you can guess that they are just trying to say no to you and you don't have to insist on asking them again you just need to understand like that and just move on okay I'll see you next time bye